everyone, welcome to Abby's Arts and Crafts and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this rainbow wing dog paw. This is really easy and I hope you enjoy. The supplies you will need today are round bands or you can use black. This is for the dog paw and clear bands or you can just use white. You will also need your hook and your loom. We're going to start off by making four dog toes. So we're going to get our loom and get two clear bands or white bands and in the middle row going to the first second peg and then third to fourth peg. Then we are going to get two brown bands and go from third to fourth in the middle and then we're going to go from here to here then here to here then on the left row we're going to go from here to here then we're going to get our hook and a single brown band and wrap it around it two times to create four loops. Then we're going to put that cap band on this peg. So we're just going to slide it off our slide it off our hook on to there. Now we're going to turn our loom around. Go under that cap band and loop over the first two bands over to the front. Then under the next one, hook those over to here. And then under here, over to here. And then under here, bottom two bands, hook over to this peg. And now we're gonna grab those bottom two clear bands it over to the front, bottom two clear bands, hook it over to the front. Now we can begin taking it off. And that is one of our dog toes done. We're going to need to do four more of these. I'll see you when I'm done. Now we're going to make this bit of the dog paw. So we're going to get one single band and go from here to here. Now we're going to get double bands. We go from the second to first in the left. And then go up twice in the left row. And repeat that step on the other side. like that. Now we're going to get one of our dog toes and put the loops, the loops that are loose on our hook. Like that. And then we're going to get double brown bands and then put it on our hook like that. Then we're going to drag the toe onto those two bands and then take it off our hook. Then we're going to go from here to here and repeat that step with the, another toe. Put it on your hook Grab two brown bands, put it on our hook, slide the toe on and put it on our loom like that. Now we're going to do the middle row. So get two bands to go from here to there, 
in there. Now we're going to get the last two toes, put it on our hook, and we're going to place them each on here. So put one there, like that, and same with the other toe. Now we're going to get our hook, wrap a single band around it twice, once I meant, to create two loops. And then we're going to stretch it from here to here. Stretch this over to here. Then we're going to get another single band, not stretching it. Bring it here to here. Now we're going to make the round bit. Now we're going to make the round bit here. So we're going to get our loom and we're going to get double bands and go from here to here. Double bands again going from here to here, then double bands here to here, double bands here to here. Then we're going to get a single band, wrap it around here three times, so one, two, three, creating four loops. Then we're going to turn our loom around and start hooking. So go under the cap band, get the top two, hook it to the middle. Then bottom two, hook it in front, like that. Then bottom two, hook it in front. Bottom two, hook it to the front, like that. Then we're going to get, turn it around, and then we're going to turn it around. Put our hook through one side, take it off, put our hook through the other side. And then you can begin taking it all off. So it should be like that. We are going to need two of these. Please pause the video if, when you're still going. So now we're going to put them on our dog pool. So we're going to get the first four, so there should be eight. So first four of the first half, put it on this peg. Next four, putting it on this peg. Like that. Then we're going to get our next one. First four. Oopsie daisies. First four, put it on this peg. And last four, put it on that peg. Now we can start cooking. But first we've got to add a cap band on here. So we're going to go twist it around our hook three times to create three loops. Then we're going to put those three loops on uh, that hook. And then we're going to get another one, hook it around three times, then put it on top here. Then we're going to get another one, hook it around three times, Daisies and put it on our loom like and 
start hooking. So turn your loom around so the arrows are facing towards you. And we're going to go, we're going to get these bands. So go under the cap band, grab the top two, pull it to the front. Then the next two, pull it to the front. And then we're going to go under the bands, grab the next two, pull it to the front. And then same, do the same on the other side. Like that. Then we're going to go down all these bands and we're going to grab these bottom two. So go down all those bands, grab those bottom two. Pull it to the front. Now if anything like this happens with this band like that, just go in and just swerve around like that. And then we're going to go down the bottom two here. Grab the bottom two. Sorry. And then hook it to the front. Then we're going to grab the bottom two. And then hook it to the middle like that. And now we're going to do the same on the other side. Grabbing now it's really hard because there's so many bands on that peg. Pull it over. Then grabbing the next two, pulling it to the front. Bottom two, pulling it to the middle. Like that. Now we're going to grab this single band. Now be careful because you don't want it to break because we already have a lot of bands on this peg and we don't want to have to take them. And my band broke. Okay, so I just went and fixed that broken band and hopefully it doesn't break again because I hate it when that happens. So again, grabbing that band, not pulling too hard so it'll break. And yay, it's survived. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to grab this bottom bit here and pull it over like that. And then we're going to grab it, pulling it gently like that and putting it back on our loom. And now, finally, we can take it off our loom. It's best to use a, a strong hook like this. I'm using a metal hook. I got my metal hooks off eBay. They're, they don't cost that much. Because if you use a weak hook, it will break. Taking it now that we've taken it off our loom, we're just going to stretch it out so it's in place. Now we are going to hide this bit, so we're going to stick it through the middle or anywhere, pull it through, pulling it through, stick it through the middle, stick it through somewhere else. I meant pull it through, so you hide it, and there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and bye!